Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the new burp suit which has been recently launched by the Portswigger team. So with new update, it's getting better and better for the community with there are many fixes that have been done and many new improvements. But is that really a good improvement for us? So we are going to see one of such feature that has changed the usage of burp suit over the time for every one of us. All right, so we are going to discuss about the pros and cons into the newer version of burp suit, but specifically for a single feature that I use the most or many other security researchers use the most or which you are going to use the most when you are doing pen testing or bug bounty. All right, so let's discuss about this. As you can see over here, there is a new feature which is inbuilt browser. As you can see over here, you can see a new cool button which says open browser. Now this feature will automatically start a Chromium browser instance for you when you click this and it is by default configured proxy with your burp suit, which means you do not need to do proxy configuration into your Mozilla Firefox browser again and again. But we really had an alternative for that. We used Foxy Proxy to save our time. As well as this feature was already there in OWASP Zap Proxy since ages. All right, but still that's a new feature for us. We have a new open browser feature which will automatically configure the proxy for us. But remember, this doesn't remove the old feature that you can manually configure any type of browser you want with burp suit. All right, so what about spider and crawler for you? So in the new burp suit, there is no spider and no crawler. As you can see into this screenshot over here, if you want to crawl for any specific website, which is the active crawling, then there's nothing in the community version of burp suit. You have to purchase it and you can see all these are being flagged out and you can not use these features and they, they are considered to be a pro version feature only. Now let us see some practicals in which let's try to uncover how the new burp suit works. As you can see over here, there is open browser feature. So let's click it and you get a cool instance of the Chromium that has opened from here which works perfectly fine. So let's see, we try to open google.com and hit enter. Let's see, yeah, we are able to get the request into our burp suit. Now, let me try to open testphp.inweb.com, hit enter, and let's try to spider this application. So I've got it over here, right click, uh, this scan is disabled. Let's go in engagement tools. Everything is disabled. I cannot crawl it or scan it from here. So what should I do basically? Over here you can see the new scan feature is not activated, which is only available in Burp Suite Pro. So let's do a little bit of Googling and let's ask Google about where is the Spider and crawl in Burp Suit 2.0. And let's see what results do we get. All right. So, Portswigger has already written a blog. Uh, let's see what it says. Here it says Burp 1.x, which means any version of Burp Suit, which is into the 1.x series, contains a feature called as Spider, as you can see over here. We are running on the latest version, which is 2020.9.1. And let's see what is the options over there. So Burp 2.0 has moved to a task based model. All right. And if you want to initiate a scan, you can click on new scan on the dashboard tab. Let's go to the dashboard tab and you can see the new scan is disabled for us as we already see that it is only available in Burp Suite Pro. All right. Now when you will be able to click it, you can see the scan type and it gives the option of crawl and crawl and audit. So your basically crawl means that you can spider the application. 
but you get a new live task feature from where you can do passive crawling passive crawling is basically means you need to go on to that particular target web application and move on to the application everywhere and all those urls will be coming into your burp suit target over here the sitemap or your http history tab all right so this is why i still use the older version of burp suit community edition which is in the series of 1.x because i still love that spider feature and i'm still using it and you can also go back to the burp suit community edition in 1.x series just go on port swigger and type burp suit older version archive and it will take you to the archive releases of port swigger older versions from where you can download any older version that you like which lies into the 1.x series I'm using 1.7.34. Uh, it's really good and it contains the spider feature. You can download it, install it and you will be able to use it with no issues. All right, so I hope you guys understood. I have tried to compare the most important feature or the most important thing that we use into our day-to-day -day life for any pen test or any bug bounty task that you are doing. So I hope you guys understood. Thank you.